Thank you, uh, Madam, Madam Chair. I rise to uh, make a comment on the bill. Please proceed. Thank you, Madam Chair. I rise in support of uh, Senate Bill 1072. Uh, I remember several times, the first of which was when I uh, was asked, ask, I wasn't asked to join the Army, I was told I was going to join the Army, but I remember raising my hand and, and taking the pledge to defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States. I've had the fortunate opportunity here in the last four years, actually now four and a half, to raise my hand again and say that I would defend and protect not only the United States Constitution, but also that of the uh, state of Arizona. With that responsibility, once in a while it takes action because I think it is our utmost duty to defend one of the most precious things that people in our country have fought and died for, have sacrificed for, and that is our vote. They've given their lives so that we should go to the ballot. They've given their lives so that we could have a free system, an education system, that would teach them the responsibilities that come with being a citizen of the United States. For you see, self-government does not work without self-control. If you don't have self-control, if you don't, you remember five years ago, the governor stood in the well of the house in the state of the state and said almost right out of his mouth, give me a civics bill and I will sign it. And that bill was fast-tracked. Some would ask, why do we need to have a civics bill? Why do we have to tell people in schools that they have to teach civics? Well, we've had that bill for a number of years. So anybody in high school has to pass it, never mind that it could take six times to pass a civics test, of which you only need to have a 60% score. That's another issue. But you should know, you should know being a citizen of the United States, that you need some form of identification. It's gotten so you go to Circle K, you almost need an ID to pay with cash. You need an ID to make copies. And now we're asking for the most precious thing to cast a ballot in the state of Arizona for local, state, and federal officials to produce some kind of identification. I think we're short-selling our system. I think we're short-selling responsibility that we have. The evidence we heard on the floor in the last several minutes that there is no fraud. Well, how do you know what you don't know? How do you know what you don't know? And we do know this because we've passed the bill. You don't see cartloads of early ballots being carted in anymore, do you? because we passed a, a ballot harvesting bill. And so simply providing an ID at an early ballot center with an early ballot indicates that you are the person that that ballot belongs to. I don't think there's anything the matter with that. In fact, I think that's a responsibility that we have as legislators to protect our system. That's what Senator Ugenti Rita is trying to do in this bill, protecting the system for those of us that are in the system now, for those that are coming into the system, and for those that will follow us when our time has gone on to meet our maker. This is an important issue, and we've heard it in committee as several bills on, on early ballot on the voting system. This is so key to the basis of our democracy, of our republic form of government, that I'm glad we're taking the time to discuss it thoroughly. This is one of the most important things that we do. We should treat any ballot, but even those considered the early ballot, as precious, honored, and we should protect them to the very end. And with that, uh, I rise in support of Senate Bill 1072.